All right, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Boulevard Rob. Um, yeah, uh, the other video I was doing, I uh, had, uh, had to cut it off because I actually got another shipment in uh, of that other item that I was talking about. As you know, these are the Brim Bros here. Um, they didn't, uh, uh, the video I did before did not take very well, so I will be doing another uh, uh, just small look at those. But this is the most, um, the most vital part of this install uh, that we're going to be doing because you cannot do it without these. Um, these uh, come pretty much a dime a dozen nowadays, but this right here, you'll probably know by me saying that what I'm, uh, what I'm gonna be unboxing, but these right here are um, necessity and they are very overpriced at this point in time. So without further ado, let's get into it. Small unboxing, take it down the middle, like that, like that right there. Always hit that corner. Bam. 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 All right. Let me put up the samurai right quick. Get that out the way. Yeah, put the yeah, put it right way. And we have and these jokers big, man. These jokers huge, uh, huge. So it's two of them. Slide this out of the way. That is right there at the bottom. If you can see it. That is a uh, it's a return shipping address. So this is a, this is an extended spindle. Um, they t basically what they do is they take the spindle. This right here is the part that, that helps extend it. Usually, this would probably be a whole inch shorter. Uh, if you have twenty fours or bigger or larger on a on any uh, Dodge Challenger charger, um, you're going to run into problems with the the top upper control arm uh, bolt sticking down to the spindle. It will rub. I had mine shaved down on the car I have right now, which was a horrible idea, but uh, it's lasted about a year. But I decided to go ahead and do an upgrade to the spindle. And why not be smart and do an upgrade to the spindle as far as the extension? And I went on ahead and got a SRT spindle also, which is required if you want to do an upgrade to uh, Brembo brakes. Now, that is the important part right there. You see the spindle says, man, this joint is heavy. SRT right there. That's the important part right there. I think this is the part number. You see they totally refinished this joint. Um, it's not brand new. Um, they take them in. I'll be sending in uh, my core to get a, a refund all together. This right here, when I send my core in, will be about 600 bucks. I will uh, list the name of the company I bought it from, and I may even do that at the beginning of the video. Can't really remember, but I do have to give credit to these guys, man, because buying these online, just from like an eBay listing, if you can't catch a dude on Marketplace or something like that, these are really running about 600 a piece just by themselves, with nothing else. Just a spindle, no new ball joint, nothing. Not even extended. So I was able to get an extended spindle, SRT spindle, um, that will accommodate my Brim Bros and um, be able to get an extended one for about, which is in, what is going to end up being about 600 bucks. Man, not a bad deal. Not a bad deal. I mean, you see this joint is tall. <laughs> and that's some good welding work right there. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, <laughs> not even remotely worried about, you know, having issues with something like this. Uh, that is a good weld right there. Um, like I said, it's extended about an inch, which makes sense. I believe 
my understanding, they said you can fit up to 24s. Uh, I think maybe up to 28s, depending on, all depending on the type of tire you use. All depending on the type of tire you use. So an extended spindle, uh, extended SRT spindle. And I believe, I will uh, show some more pictures of it, but I believe the big difference is this is a lot thicker here uh, to fit the Brembo's. I believe the regular uh, RT and V6s is, is just out of a, as a robust uh, spindle is used. Uh, I'm gonna throw that to the side. Uh, and then tighten it did up pretty well for it, to be, for it to be what it is. So, before we get out of here, Like I said, these are four pistons. Look inside there, you see two on that side, two on this side. Uh, this is how they look, this is how these look. Like I said in the beginning of the video, they are refurbished, so they're not brand new, but you know, you can look at the seals and everything else, everything else inside of there. And you can tell, guys did a real good job, that stuff is brand new inside of there. Um, you know, I'm, uh, he's put on pretty soon, man. I'm definitely gonna paint them. I think I am gonna go with red. Not exactly sure, but um, yeah, man. Uh, so that's it, man. That's a small unboxing. Um, I will try to get all the information for you guys to let you know everything you need once I actually get these installed, to actually have these installed. I said, you, de you definitely gonna need these. You know, this is the big, uh, you know, the, um, the uh, big part to it, but not to be misunderstood. This is just as important. Because if you get those, you don't get one of these right here, SRT spindle, um, you're not going to be able to put Brembo's on your car. Uh, I looked at Bear, I looked at Willow Wood, they were all running about three or four grand. A lot of dudes will also use uh, the, the police package uh, uh, charger setup, which will give you a better upgrade too. But I wanted to look on top of the performance. Um, I think that having four pistons will be fine. You know, if I feel like uh, I really want to upgrade the six, I'll see. From my understanding, the six is not necessarily for uh, improved stopping. It's more for endurance. Uh, so if you're tracking a car or something like that, uh, the brakes won't um, won't have fade as uh, nearly as much, and they'll be able to cool down a lot faster because you have uh, a way bigger uh, surface uh, being applied. You know, if you know what I mean. Yeah, man. But it's your boy Boulevard Rob, man. Look out for the install. Uh, make sure you comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. One.